Welcome to Lunch with the Lord. I'm Pastor Mark, and we will be continuing this study in the letter of Paul to the Galatians, looking at chapter 2, starting at verse 17. But before we begin, Jeremiah 15, 16, Thy words were found, and I did eat them, and thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. Now, as we saw last lesson, Paul says in verse 16 that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. And Paul is saying that it's not possible for us to keep enough laws to be justified before God. We have to be justified by the faith of Christ, and, and, and we are justified by being in Christ. When we humble ourselves and we give our heart to the Lord, we are, when Christ died, then we died. God sees us as in Christ, and God imputes to us his righteousness, and we become justified in the eyes of God through what Christ did for us. Now in verse 17, Paul writes, But if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves also are found sinners, is therefore Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. The Judaizers argued that any violation of the law of Moses was a sin, and therefore to abandon the law in order to be justified in Christ is also a sin. And the result of this is that Christ must be promoting sin because to preach that justification by faith in Christ leads to us not uh, living our lives according to the law of Moses, then that's sin. And the originator of that sin must be Christ because he's promoting it, all right? Paul is preaching it, but it's through Christ that the law was nailed to the cross, done away with. So I guess, therefore, then, Jesus Christ is, uh, is the promoter, the initiator of sin. For a Jew... To seek justification in Christ apart from the law is an open admission that the keeping of the law to receive justification is an effort of futility. And now the Jew is on the same level as the Gentile, all seeking justification through the one who did keep the law. You see, when, when a Jewish person comes to Jesus Christ by faith, puts their trust in Christ, they're on the same level as the Gentile. We all come to Christ by faith, uh, by grace through faith. And for us, for us to come to Christ by faith means we we, we don't need a set of rules and regulations that we seek to be justified by God uh, from. We put aside those things. And this is what Paul is saying here. He says, if we seek to be justified by Christ, then we ourselves also are found to be sinners. Is therefore Christ the minister of sin? Is is is, is the putting away of the law, is that sin? Well, that's what, that's what they would say, the Jewish, believers, the, the Jewish people would say. You must, you're sinning. You're putting away the law of Moses. You're not observing it and keeping it in order. And, and Paul is saying, yes, you're right. We aren't keeping it because no one can keep it. No one can be justified before God by keeping the, any laws, by any rules and regulations. We seek our justification through Christ. But does that mean that Jesus Christ is the promoter of sin? No, God forbid. Verse 18, For if I build again the things which I destroyed, 
I make myself a transgressor. Now, this verse deals with the destruction of the law and the building of grace. If Paul's preaching destroyed the law, how could he rebuild it again? By Paul preaching salvation by grace through faith in Christ apart from the law, he was saying that I'm building a foundation in people's hearts to be saved, a foundation of grace. I'm not building a foundation of, uh, of salvation through keeping rules and regulations. I'm, uh, put, put that away. I've destroyed that. Paul said, I'm destroying that foundation and I'm building a whole new foundation on the word of God that salvation comes through our faith in Christ. When Peter arrived at Antioch and saw both Jews and Gentiles fellowshipping in Christ, he joined in on this with them. As we said, when Peter got there and he saw that Jews and, and Gentiles were having tremendous fellowship in the Lord apart from the law, apart from any barriers coming between them, he enjoyed it and he, got, and he involved himself in that. But when the people who were sent by James came to Antioch, Peter rebuilt again the law of Moses in his outward actions. And, and it became a barrier and a hindrance to the church at Antioch. These people, these, these people came from, from James in, in Jerusalem. They arrived in Antioch. And Peter, although in his heart he, he, he knew what the truth of the gospel was, yet because of his fear, he, he outwardly showed uh, he outwardly showed that he wanted to show them that he was still an observer of the law. And he, he, he withdrew from the Gentiles. And it caused the problem in the church at Antioch. Paul understood that the law of Moses was only a hindrance to both Jew and Gentile in their relationship to God. And Paul knew that a right relationship with God was only attained by preaching grace and he would not build the law of Moses again. This is what he's saying. He says, for if I build again the things which I destroyed, if I begin now to preach that, that righteousness with God is attained by keeping a set of rules and regulations, do's and don'ts. He says, if I build again those things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. Paul says, I'm not going to do it. I've built this church. Everywhere, Paul says, up until this time, I've, I've built churches on this preaching, the preaching of salvation by grace through faith in Christ. And I'm not going to go, I'm not going to deny it and go back to the law of Moses. I'm not going to do it because I know that the truth of the gospel, that God's way of salvation is, is by grace through faith, by having righteousness imputed to me as I, as I humble myself to the Lord, not as I try to work for my righteousness, work for my justification, because I can't, no one can. But as I humble myself and I come to the one who did do the work, who did keep, who did keep the law, okay? And, and this is what Paul is trying to say, I'm not going to build the law of Moses again and tear down the grace, the grace uh, by grace through faith, that salvation. And and this is what we do. We need to continue on. Don't, don't ever go back to a set of rules and regulations. Don't ever allow yourself to be, to be deceived into thinking that, that salvation or a right relationship with God comes by, by, by keeping some church rules or, or laws or whatever. 
but it's by keeping yourself in the word of God. By It's by keeping yourself, by praying and loving and seeking him in your heart and coming to God. And if we sin, we go to God, we confess it, and we become right before him. And, and we love him, and he loves us, and we pray. And, that, and, and we love the brethren, too. And we continue in that before the Lord. All right? Until next lesson, walk with the Lord. I know he walks with you.